सूर्याय नम ओं सौ सुमाय नम ओं कुं कुजाय नम ओं बुं बुधाय नम ओं गुं गुरव नम ओं शुं शुक्राय नम ओं शं शनाश्वराय नम ओं राम राहव नम ओं कें केतव नम ओ जपाकुसुमसाशम काशपेय महाज्योति तमोरी सर्वपापन प्रणतस्मी दिवाक दधी शंख तुषाराभम क्षीरो दाणव संभव नमा शशिना सोम शंभोर्मकूषण धरणी गर्भ संभूत विद्युत्कंति सभम कुमार शक्ति हस्तम तम मंगल प्रणमा हम प्रियांगु काली का श्याम रूपेण प्रतिमं बुधम सौम्यम सौम्य गुणो बुधम प्रणमा हम दिवना चिषिना चुरु कंचन सन्नीभम उदिभूत त्रिलोकेशम तम नमा बृहस्पति हिमकुंद मृणालभम दायत्या परम गुरु सर्वशास्त्र प्रवक्ता भार्गव प्रणमाम्यहम नीलांजन सभासम रविपुत्र यमाग्रज छायामर्तंड संभूत तम नमा शनाश्वर अर्धकाय महावीर चंद्रादीत विमर्दनम सिंहिकागर्भ संभूत तम राहुम प्रणमाम्यहम पलाशपुष्पाशम तारकाग्रहमस्तक रौद्रम रौद्रत्मकोर तम के प्रणमाम्यहम ओ शि 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 ओ thinking yes i did a podcast yesterday with um a person who owns a jet company and he and he has like um he, his listeners and his clients are very rich people who can hire a private jet to go somewhere <clears throat> and he was saying how he noticed how many of his clients are extremely successful financially and materially but very depressed <laughs> like they just they don't feel fulfilled as you were saying they don't feel happy and and i was and i had this realization as you were speaking that there is an art in retiring there is an art to to say okay i've done enough now it's time to go within and to work on my spiritual life and to to really to kind of slow down externally so that i can i can focus internally and become rich that internally as well and feel that spiritual connection prepare for the transition to the next life material success usually will be very important up to the fifth karmic period after the fifth karmic period material success success maybe will become a slavery a slavery because if you were have already achieved it, it doesn't matter if it's two hours cuz or 20 it's not going to make difference mm. if you already have attained the four hours cuz that is ought to be for your life in your fifth karmic period probably the fifth one is going to be uh do you know make a, a experience you go for some french fries or whatever it's tasty for you okay and start to eat french fries why are they still heat and with still with salt after a while you are going to see that the same french fries are not going to be tasty anymore because the ability to enjoy that is going to be finished so the satiation point the heaven point in our culture it was destroyed by some economists in the 19th century <laughs> i don't know if you know but my 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 graduation was in economical sciences 
And when we lost that heaven point, if you go to those first two meal description, there was a heaven point in the utilitarian curve. If you don't know where, what is your sex satisfaction, you're going to be Mick, Mick Jagger. You can be with and uh, earning how many million dollars for that tourney? And this is going to be your personal health. Okay, so this is not a, a um, discourse against material wealth, but this is a discourse that after a point of time, material money is not going to be material, is not going to be wealth anymore. Because after the fifth karmic period, after we have already accomplished the material part of our life, we should see if materiality is helping us uplift in a spiritual manner or if it's uh, slavering us. So that's why I told, I'm not so sure if I should judge Sean Connery as a bad thing not taking Dumbledore and the Gandalf role. If he was already on his sixth karmic period, I would see if we could say, is your life much better with your grandsons right now or not? Okay, okay. Yeah, fascinating. Thank you so much. Natalie. Iago, I added another musical analogy for your collection. So in the sixth period, if you still want to make money, you know, like you can say, you know, Kenny Rogers, when he said, you got to know when to hold them and when to fold them. Yeah. You have to know when to. He's talking with... about playing cards, right? Yes. You have to know when to leave the stage when the lights are still on. Yeah. Because after that, the amount of effort and the amount of enjoyment that you are going to be able to internally fulfill is going to be directed to a new area. And yeah. since we don't have this spiritual scope in our Western culture, we are slaves of material success after the fifth karmic period. Up to there, yeah. fine. A slave to material success. And I think also, you know, because we naturally have this inner voice that that this inner sense that fills those karmic waters that are shifting and that pull us very strongly in a direction but sometimes it's countercultural yeah. um it's not counterintuitive it's intuitive but it's countercultural so um so I, I find the geotisha, it's very, very helpful to understand where we're at in those karmic waters. And I, I just want to say thank you for this presentation, the other one. And I've so enjoyed the consult with you. It was really helpful to me, the plan you helped me make for my dog, really put me at peace. Um, I was not entering the consultation for that, but it's what was needed. And so I'm so grateful. And I'm really looking forward to um, to taking the course with you and to learning more. Like today during the presentation, I pulled your notes out and then I'm trying to figure out where my planets are and the order of their planets. And I'm just really excited about um, just getting a more solid understanding because I think it's really important to, um, to honor this inner feeling that we have because a part of us really knows when those karmic waters are shifting. Yeah, good. So one point important is, if you're already practicing any kind of yoga in a broad sense, and you can connect with these inner orientations or this intuition that we can call, Jyotisha will help you just to put some analytical confirmation over that. You say, oh, I already feeling like that. Oh, that makes sense. But not everyone is tuned to that. So this more brainy and more intellectual and more Cartesian approach also can help people that are not already traveling in its uh, inner knowledge road. Mm -hmm. okay? That's one point. And the second point is uh, in the course, 
I'm going to be mainly interested in talking to you, not to talk about celebrities, okay? And the arrangement that we did, that in the course, probably everyone will have their chart read. It will make you feel like if I comment something about you in your chart, you're going to listen this in a way that you're receiving this as a compliment. So what do you already have spoke? What do we have already spoken? Okay. My idea in the course is to take, if possible, if you have that, those nine or more, <laughs> 18 would be a great number, um, charts of you, well, of course, with all your authorization, it wouldn't be forced. But to discuss, look, is this making sense to your life? Because what we understand as George Shahir is more kind of a counseling than a prediction. Okay? And uh, we are trying to find a, a way in the forest of karma where we are not drowning in a pit, where we are not putting our leg in a snake and so, because there are some considerations that we can say, if you do this in this moment, please be very careful because there is a chance that it goes wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to say if you, you have to or not, but I will say the weather is more favorable or the, the sea is crashing. If you're going to go out with your boat in, that, in those conditions, I'm going to say, please inform the, um, the coastal guard that you're going out <laughs> because the chance that you crash, it's high. So at least people will know how to rescue you or your body, it doesn't matter. It's up to you to decide. But if you consult the weather uh, forecast before you take a decision on that sentence, it's more probable that you are going to be with clarity. Mm -hmm. So that's the main point as Divya was speaking in the beginning of our session. Here we are bringing light to the way, uh, way ahead. We are not here to say what you have to do or what you need to do. We are going to say time is flowing in this direction. Yeah. If you are going to try to move along or against it, yeah. It's not because karma is just pushing you in one direction that you just say, let take me. Because karma may be pushing you into the rajasic and tamasic direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for your participation, Nico. Bye bye. So we are almost uh, to our session. And I'm happy that we could go through this 61 slide presentation. I said this is going to be a challenge. <laughs> but anyhow, the presentation is going to be sent to you. Uh, and we are going to send the information about the PayPal, email, the trans, the WISE platform. And also now we open an account that can receive dollars also directly. So what is best for you? Okay. The course is still with that um, bonus. I would say, please, let's go and have some fun with this course. And uh, the course is 250, but we are doing a cashback of 124 up to hours consultation. It doesn't need to be two hours in a row. We can split that also. What is more helpful for you, it's fine for me. I'm sure that this knowledge is hugely important in my life with the people that I do consultation, with the people that I do the courses. So um, let's rock, <laughs> okay? <laughs> let's begin Namaste Fifth Karmic Period. Divya Ji, is there anyone that wants to make any final comments or so? Are you okay there, Lina? I only have gratitude from my side. Thank you so much. Um, I know many people had to drop off already, and I know that many more will be watching the recording. So thank you again for making time for us. And thank you for being there and helping in so many ways. So it, this was very insightful. Yeah, good. I did my job. <laughs> Glad that we 
uh, had this moment. Happy Easter, everyone. Sorry to disturb your Hallelujah uh, Saturday. And I'm going to chant a mantra so we can finish. Okay, Diviji? Yes. Oh. Poor Namada, poor Namidam. Poor Nat, poor Namodachate. Poor Nasya, poor Namadaya. Poor Nam Eva Vashishate. Om. Devi Sureshwari Bhagavati Gange Tribhuvana Tari Mitarange Shankaramali Vihari Nivimale Mama Matira Stam Tava Padakamale Bhagi Rati Sukadai Mimata Tava Mahima Kripa Niga Mekata Naham Jane Tava Mahima Nam Pahikarpa mai mama jnana. Om shanti shanti shanti. Om. To all the guidance that was offered to us during this session, our reverence. Ungura Venama, Ungura Venama, Ungura Venama, Ungura Venama, Ungura Venama. Ungura Venama.